House of Cards is brought to you by Drizzly, your online liquor store. Available in over 95 cities across North America, Drizzly offers a huge selection and competitive pricing with a side of personalized content. Now there's no need to leave the house. Get alcohol delivered in less than an hour by Drizzly. Head on over to drizzly.com and order today. And now get $5 off your first order of $20 or more when using promo code DRINK19 at checkout. Shop beer, wine, and liquor with drizzly.com. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're listening to House of Cards. Today, the game is different. I want to gamble. Gambling is a very serious business. Is that clear? Welcome to House of Cards. Dave Weishauder with you deep from the swamps of Jersey. We've got a great show coming up for you. More and more states are allowing sports betting in this country, but is there a hidden danger to this very popular activity? Coming up, I'll be talking with David Bluter, a first-time novelist who wrote a fascinating story about the darker side of sports betting. The name of the novel is The Great Gamble, and we're going to hear all about it when I talk to the author, David Bluter. So stick around. We'll be right back with House of Cards. The IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wages wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-297-9788. 800-297-9788. Psst. Yeah, you. Come here. Haven't you heard? We don't need to hide anymore. Now, we can shop privately for adult products at adamandeve.com. They've got massage oils, lingerie, and lots more we can't mention here. Use the offer code SPICE404. They'll give you 50% off almost any one item, three free DVDs, free mystery gift, and free shipping. That's 50% off, free shipping, and more. Private shopping starts at adamandeve.com. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective BCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry with payments as low as $68 per month or no interest, no payments for 18 months. 
For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. Call 1-800-594-9530. 1-800-594-9530. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. You're listening to House of Cards. Check out our website at houseofcardsradio.com. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaddle with you. In the last couple of years, sports betting has been sweeping across the nation. Lots of people are making lots of money, but what effect could sports betting have on the sports world and this country? In his new novel, The Great Gamble, David Bluter creates a fascinating story about the uglier side of sports betting. And to tell us all about it, we have David Bluter on the line. David, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. I, I got to tell you, The Great Gamble is a fascinating book. Can you give us an overview of the story? Um, the Great Gamble is being um, somewhat endorsed as the explosive revelation uncovering the biggest secret in America. And um, it, it begins with the protagonist, Jason Carson, and he is the number one high school basketball recruit in the United States. And he's got incredible skills. He, um, he's a handsome guy, 6'9", body. He's had hundreds and hundreds of schools that are offering him scholarships. But he's in it has a profound quandary. His mother is a single parent um, who has ovarian cancer and without any health insurance. And the two of them are about to lose their rundown apartment in, in Oak Park, Illinois. And that enters uh, a guy named Ricardo Perez. He's a confident, sophisticated, kind of an aggressive sports agent. He wears Armani suits. He speaks five languages. He does yoga. He listens to classical music. And he's been pursuing Jason for months, and he understands the kid's dire circumstances. And he delivers a proposal to Jason, um, who's running out of choices. He gives him a secret loan. Of course, we all know that's illegal from NCAA standards. uh, To pay off his mountain of bills with only a handshake. And that's to be paid back when Jason receives his gigantic NBA contract after a year stint in college. And meanwhile... Perez, after the agreement is made, appears to Jason for a little bit of help. He tells Jason that his Oak Park High School team beat Elk Grove Village by 25 points three weeks earlier, and he asks them to keep the score at about 22 this time. A little point shaving, as a lot of people on your channel understand. Yep. And the games begin. He heads to college. Jason goes to college, an unusual choice he makes because – he doesn't listen to his high school coach, who would receive a condo in Florida if Jason decides to go to UCLA, but he picks another school, and I'm not going to talk to you about, about that. But mm-hmm. And then there's another protagonist that's involved. He's a blazing narcissist, and he's an FBI referee. His name's Tim McMurray, mm-hmm. and the guy's an ma- egomaniac. He's a divorced womanizer who gloats that his next uh, wife hasn't even been born yet. <laughs> he leads this life of the paranormal, the occult seances, and numerology. And then um, he's got a big stake in changing some of the outcomes of games in a deadly and in an unthinkable and deadly ways. Now, what inspired you to write The Great Gamble? Well, 10 years ago, Tim McDonaghy, and I know you guys have talked about him, uh, especially uh, when Matthew Holt, the. Uh, was the president of the United States Integrity was on. You guys were talking about him. Sure. He uh, he came out uh, with the NBA and uh, was discovered, you know, 10 years ago. And David Stern came out at that time and said, this was an isolated incident. <laughs> and uh, as Stern passed away recently, they've done uh, Axios News, did some study and said that there were probably 10 or 11 other referees that they considered were involved at the time. So that intrigued me. Now, my wife um, has been the women's basketball coach, University of Iowa for 21 years. Last year, she was the uh, Naismith coach of the year. And so we've been around sports for, for years. Uh, she's been a coach for over 30, you know, 35 years. And 
so we've talked to a lot of different coaches and referees and of all different sports. And, um, you know, you hear about all this, you know, the FBI came out with um, the money that was given to coaches and, and AAU coaches and players and, and little is done. And you talk to other major coaches around the country and they say it's all being, it's all being done. So that kind of created the, the thing. And over time, we just kind of continued to do research and talk to people and came up with this wild, crazy story. Yeah, I, I got to tell you, when, when I learned about your background, I, I just want to tell everyone that this is a work of fiction. But, you know, you have experience in business. You have experience in banking, politics. And like you said, your wife, Lisa, is an amazing coach in the NCAA. And the first thing I mm-hmm. thought of is, wow, how much of this story is actually something you've experienced or something you've heard about firsthand. I mean, I know you don't want to give out, you know, names or anything like that, but, ha- <laughs> but ha- have, that's the first thing I thought of is, wow, you have the experience and you have the, uh, you were in the right places at the right time to hear about these stories. I mean, are, are, how factual are the things that we see in the great gamble actually going on? Uh, that's something that I probably don't want to talk sure. <laughs> specifically about, uh, you know, the legendary Dan Gable, uh, who has won what 15 national championships at the university of Iowa. He's probably one of the greatest legends, um, uh, in the United States in sport. He, okay. Hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. seniors with Medicare. This is an important announcement. Did you know you may qualify for a monthly Social Security rebate? Did you know you may qualify for a $0 monthly premium? That's right. You may qualify to get $135 added back to your Social Security check each month. Just call the Medicare Benefits line to get your options. It's a free call. You may also qualify for $0 premiums, dental coverage, vision coverage, hearing coverage, and prescription drug coverage. With this type of plan, you don't need Medicare supplement insurance. Call now because you deserve to get the most from your Medicare benefits, including a rebate to your Social Security check each month. Agents are standing by with free information regarding Medicare benefits. It's a free call with no obligation, but it could mean big savings for you. Call the Medicare benefits line now to see if you're eligible for a Social Security rebate. Call 800-574-6770. 800-574-6770. You're listening to House of Cards. I bet you 20 bucks I can get you gambling before the end of the day. No way. I'll give you 3 to 1 odds. Nope. 5 to 1. Nope. 10 to 1. You're on. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishaud with you. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. 
Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code Turnpike, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code Turnpike at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with author David Bluter about his novel, The Great Gamble. Sorry about that. Radio has to do its business, you know. Why don't you continue what you were saying before the break? He uh, specifically said that uh, I probably want to just kind of keep it as a novel so people don't understand what could be true or what, what could be just fiction. But So I'm not saying much about that. I'm just saying it's a story. What could happen? Um, Marv Cook. Uh, who was a two-time All-Pro with the New England Patriots, says it's a story um, like um, Tarantino's. Uh, it's a mixture between Sicario and Pulp Fiction. Mm-hmm. So it's it's like once upon a time in Hollywood where what could happen if things align or if, if things get out of hand. One of the great techniques that you use is interjecting real-life news headlines and news reports throughout your book. I think that was a very effective device in telling the story. Why do you think that was important to weave those headlines throughout the story in The Great Gamble? That's a great question, and it's something that I did later on as uh, over the years, uh, because it it really perceives that something could happen in in a real-life setting. And... um, and, and that, I think, really allows people to understand that this thing could happen um, and, and shows how it does happen in certain cir- circumstances. When I read the news headlines interspersed throughout your story, it has the reader thinking, mm-hmm. you know, is this country implementing sports betting the right way and the safest way possible? In your opinion, could this country and the state governments do a better job in creating safeguards with regard to sports betting legislation? Well, I'm just going to answer that with another question. Has the NCAA really done a good job in their ability to keep uh, sport in a ethical and legal manner? Um, you look at some of the things that the FBI came up with in the last two years, and there's almost nothing that's been done to any of these coaches or teams or players. So it's almost impossible. And as you guys know, what's so interesting mm-hmm. is you don't have to win 60 or 70% of the time. No, no. If you win 52% of the time, as the people that understand like yourself, you can become a huge winner. And so it's just a small sliver that needs to take place. And there's so many ways you can do it. Throughout the years when the sports betting started up, I there was this one regulation. I guess it was to protect student athletes. I mean, some states uh-huh. Uh-huh. require that if you're betting, if there's betting in the state, you cannot bet on any college or university located in the state that you're betting in. Right. Do you think that's an effective right. regulation, or is that a first step of creating better legislation, or is it just a kind of a lip service to, yeah, we're trying to be this integrity issue. We're trying to match that. But is that really effective? Well, it's a smokescreen. If you even look at the number of of college athletes that are actually betting, it's enormous. Um, And I've seen that uh, that, uh, percentage over the years. But the interesting thing is we're trying to take, you know, that story and, and, and in, and really exploded into, you know, in the book, it talks about a, a discovery of a major art theft. And then yeah. there's a there's a revelation of a hidden area in an iconic United States landmark that's discovered. There's the shocking scandal that leads to an international manhunt. And the neat thing, Dave, is, is we also have an FBI investigation that incorporates the famous crypto encryption. And and this thing, it, talking about what's factual, this is a factual thing, and it's the encryption that's used. There's a gentleman that actually lives in Chesapeake Island, um, not too far from you, and he created the Cryptos encryption. And there's three levels of it, and there's a um, – uh, the first two levels haven't been 
able to be cracked. They've used, you know, supercomputers. They've had the greatest hackers in the world try to crack it, and they haven't been able to crack the encryption used by NSA, CIA, and FBI. And there is a symbol, a statue, that's right outside the CIA in Langley, Virginia. And it's it shows, uh, it's a picture of numbers and letters, and it's a, it's a symbol for cryptos. Mm -hmm. And this book even gets involved in that. So there's a lot of layers, not just one story. There's there's layers as to how, as to how this whole thing could could actually um, occur over a period of time. That's the first thing I thought of reading your book. I mean, I, I have kind of a different perspective on it. I'm sitting here in New Jersey, and I can tell you uh -huh. that they're playing about four or five online casinos and sportsbook TV commercials an hour. I mean, you can bet from your phone on the couch. <laughs> you, can, you can't drive down the turnpike or the parkway without seeing billboards. I mean, it is becoming so pervasive. I mean, it, it's just uh -huh. almost everywhere. It's almost like background noise. If you're walking into one of my rooms in uh -huh. my house and the TV's on, chances are there's going to be a, a sports book commercial on. I mean, is that... <laughs> is, wow. Yeah, I know. Is is it getting dangerous for the country that the fact that it's everywhere and it's it's almost like a background noise now? I mean, you're call, you, you wonderfully called it America's secret. I mean, are they hiding in plain sight? Uh -huh. For New Jersey, anyway. Well, uh, they're hiding everywhere. Yeah. In fact, we came out with this book March 16th, and it was supposed to come out the day after the NCAA tournament, uh, the biggest sports betting day of, uh, in, in, in the United States. And this whole thing you know, came out right when the or um, COVID-19 came out. So it was a, really a terrible time, actually. Sure. So we hope to maybe re-release -re -re this thing at some time. I read your book cover to cover, and the first thing I thought of when I finished was the Supreme Court, which allowed sports betting. I mean, mm -hmm. for eight years during the court mm -hmm. battle, the professional sports leagues argued, you know, sports betting is terrible. It's the worst thing that could happen to sports. It's the most evil thing you can do. The court overturned <laughs> the ban on sports betting, and now the professional leagues are making deals with sports book operators. Uh, I'm not going to reveal right. the ending of your book, but I'm thinking, what just happened and why the change of heart? I mean, talk to me about the professional sports leagues. What responsibility do they have with regard to regulations and sports betting? It supports engagement. So that's what they want. Um, you know, with everything, especially with baseball, you know, losing the last 20 years, um, po people that are actually watching the, the game of baseball, they need more engagement. So that's what these teams are trying to do, and they're trying to do it in a, in a manner that that is legal. So... Um, what comes of it, they don't, I don't think they understand. Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side. the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wages. Wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions Now. Call 800-297-9788. 800-297-9788. Hey, this is Dave Weishado from House of Cards with your House of Cards gaming report for the week of October 18th, 2021. 
Ohio Gaming set a new monthly revenue record in September. The state's casinos and racinos recorded over $185 million in net revenue last month, an increase of 12.6% from September of 2020. This is also the fourth straight month that Ohio has recorded record monthly revenue. The top racino in the state was MGM Northfield Park, bringing in $22.9 million, and Jack Cleveland topped all casinos with $21.3 million. Connecticut launched the retail sports betting industry last week at Foxwoods and Mohegan Sun Casinos, and now the state announced the date for the launch of mobile sports betting and iGaming in the state. Following a soft launch beginning on October 12th, mobile betting and online casinos will officially launch on October 19th, with DraftKings, FanDuel, and Rust Street as the first online platforms in the state. And finally, it was a big week for former Major League Baseball great Pete Rose. First, Rose will make the ceremonial first table game bet at the grand opening of the Hard Rock Casino Cincinnati on October 29th. And then it was announced that Rose will be starting his own sports betting podcast called Pete Rose's Daily Picks with Quake Media. Rose was banned for baseball for allegedly betting on the sport. Have any news or tips regarding casinos, gaming, or legislation? Send us an email at newsroom at houseofcardsradio.com and follow us on Twitter at HOC Radio. You're listening to the House of Cards. Whoa! I think we got a show. Oh, yeah, we got a show. We definitely got a show. Oh, yeah, there's a show. Hey, it's all about ratings, baby, and we got them. Welcome back to House of Cards. Dave Weishato with you here. House of Cards is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. For those of you just joining us, I am talking with author David Bluter about his novel, The Great Gamble. Now, from what I read about the book, The Great Gamble was a 10 years project. It was 10 years in the making. Now, from the start of the project, are you surprised how the mm. issue of sports betting and gambling evolved in this country? Absolutely. In fact, oh, that's the number one question I get. And, and so I, what I did about 10 years ago when I started getting this idea is um, I started reading a bunch of the craft books, Dave, and I started with the Gotham Writers Workshop in New York, um, and then I started getting in, reading a lot more. And after I thought I'd pursue something, I visited with a gentleman that owned, his name was Jim Harris, the original owner of the famous Prairie Lights bookstore in Iowa City, Iowa. And he recommended that I call an editor friend that went through the Iowa Writers Workshop. And if you don't know the I Writers Workshop, it is the it's more difficult to get in a writers workshop than uh, Harvard Medical School and law school combined. Um, and it it it's ha it you know it's had authors like John Irving, T. C. Eliot, Kurt Vonnegut, Flannery O'Connor, and by the way, they, they had an author um, W. P. Kinsella, and he wrote Shoeless Joe, which I just ordered yesterday, and it became the field of dreams. Wow. And it's a it's a great story. So I was reading about that. I'm going to read that book. But they've had 17 Pulitzer Prize winners over the years. So I found uh, an editor from the Wire Writers Workshop and then proceeded to write and read other novels and take numerous courses at the Iowa Summer Writing uh, Festival. And I used various other editors from the workshop, the Stanford Writers Workshop, and after 10 years, you know, in 10 full drafts and piles and piles of pages and more research, we kind of, we, we finally came up with the final manuscript. Now, The Great Gamble has gotten incredible reviews and endorsements. I mean, you even had Congressman Jim Leach do an epilogue for the book. Who are some of the others that mm -hmm. have endorsed the book? Well, Senator Bill Bradley, um, 
he, you know, from Princeton, of course, right there from where you were and yep. final four and, and 10 years with the New York Knicks an NBA champion, gold medalist guy who was a Rhodes scholar. And of course, former president and candidate, um, we had Bobby Hansen also from the world champion Chicago Bulls. In fact, Melissa Isaacson was the beat writer for the Chicago Bulls and, and dances, um, the final dance. She was on a few episodes. She wrote a wonderful um, endorsement. Tim McClellan, he was the retired uh, Major League Baseball second most senior umpire. He was behind the plate for the George Brett's Pine Tar game. And then Sosa's court back game. Of course, another couple of cheating <laughs> there, which is interesting that he endorsed this book. We had Dan Matheson, former director of operations, New York Yankees. He endorsed. Um, we had Tom Arnold, actor. Hey, all right. Um, he wrote a wonderful endorsement. Uh, Bob Bowlesby, commissioner of the Big 12. We had Ann Myers Drysdale, the only female to sign a contract with the NBA, and she married uh, Don Drysdale. She's the GM president of uh, Phoenix Mercury. So we tried, so try to get a you know a group. And of course, we had Dan Gable, you know, 15-time NCAA champion for coaching wrestling legend. We just go on and on. It's really exciting stuff. So what's next for you? Do you have another book coming out? Is this a series of books that you have planned? What's the plans for the coming years? Uh, I'm currently writing a, a uh, international political thriller. So, uh, you know, looking at uh, DNA and how we could change voting. And there's a lot of things that are going on. That cryptocurrencies involved in that as well. How some of the banking issues may change. So, uh, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on right now, and it's just happening, like you said, real quickly. <laughs> David, we're running out of time, but can you tell people where we can get The Great Gamble? Uh, you can get The Great Gamble, hopefully, at Barnes & Noble. Uh, you can get it at uh, on Amazon. You can also get it directly, because Amazon a little backed up, uh, icecubepress.com. And if you don't want to actually read it, you can also uh, you can get it on audio. There's a guy, Joe Osheroff, who is the actor, famous TV actor on Broadway and TV and teaches at NYU Tisch School. Mm -hmm. And uh, he actually did the audio. So wow. it's on 75 major distributors. And you can get it on Google Play, Apple Play, and you can actually listen to it. David Bluter, author of The Great Gamble, an absolutely incredible book. And I urge everyone to pick it up because it's such an important story dealing with the issue of sports betting. David, thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Stick around. We'll be right back with more House of Cards. The East Coast Gaming Congress returns for its 24th year on October 25th and 26th at Harris Waterfront Conference Center in Atlantic City. As the largest gaming conference in the eastern United States, the East Coast Gaming Congress features keynote addresses from top gaming executives, leaders from gaming suppliers, sports betting operators, lotteries, and government agencies. In addition to traditional brick-and-mortar gaming, the East Coast Gaming Congress focuses on cutting-edge issues that range from sports betting to esports to iGaming. And for the third consecutive year, New Jersey Governor Governor Phil Murphy will deliver the State of Gaming keynote address. Over 500 gaming operators, analysts, attorneys, and other gaming-related professionals are expected to attend ECGC. Go to ecgc.us for the full two-day conference schedule and registration. Early bird savings are available, too. The 24th Annual East Coast Gaming Congress and Next Gen Gaming Institute on October 25th and 26th at Harris Waterfront Conference Center in Atlantic City. Register today at ecgc.us. No, people gotta win sometime. Oh, if you'll excuse me, I have a giant colorful check to deposit. Being the House is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Don't wait. Join in the fun now. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Grab a lion's share of the fun at BetMGM.com. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. And welcome to this week's edition of Beat in the House, where we celebrate the casino wins, the slot machines, online slot machines. Uh, 
Kino, bingo. Basically, if it happens in a casino or a sports book, we're going to talk about it. You know, and I uh, I read the notes prior to our recording this, and then when I mentioned the new millionaire in my opening, uh, you're, I guess you're going to start with it. From Indiana, right? We uh, Actually, this is our second story from Four Winds South Bend wow, in South okay. Bend, Indiana. Uh, this was a uh, $5.88 spin on a slot machine, uh, the Dancing Drums Explosion slot machine. Okay. <laughs> Dan- By the way, dancing this is, drums. That's the greatest part about this segment. You mentioned slot machines I have never heard of, or I've never played, or I've never seen. So n- now I'm going to, w- when I jump on these online casinos in New Jersey, I'm going to type in dancing drums explosion. Well, I'm going to tell you all about it right now. Okay. Dancing drums explosion slot machine is an Asian themed slot machine by Shuffle Master. Okay. Uh, in collaboration with SG Digital Scientific Games. Uh, it's five reels with high paying drums and two foo bats. Wild symbols. I don't know what that means. What's a foo bat? It's a bat. It's a bat? Oh, mm-hmm. It's a type of bat? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have a five, $5.88 bet on the slot machine, the uh, Dancing Drums Explosion, and the progressive hit to an astounding $1.2 million. Wow. And, and I'm assuming uh, since you didn't say anything yet, they didn't give their name? No name. No name? Okay. I, I wouldn't either. I, I wouldn't. Either. Let, let me tell you something. I, I don't think I would even say anything to anyone if I won if I won one point two million dollars. Well, the jackpot was the biggest of all the big hits recently at the four Indiana Michigan casinos owned by the Pokagon Band of Potawatomi Indians. We actually talked about this on the show last week. The previous uh, winner was uh, the two hundred twenty nine thousand two hundred twenty thousand top prize playing the Dollar Storm Caribbean Gold Machine. Okay. That was at the Four Winds in New Buffalo, Michigan. Okay, but this one was actually in Indiana? This one was in South Bend, Indiana. Okay, all right. We actually talked about this one, I think, uh, last week as well. Uh, at this casino, Four Winds, South Bend, in South Bend, Indiana, a player from St. Anne, Illinois, again, didn't give the name, playing the Triple Diamond St- Triple Diamond Strike slot machine. Okay. I've That's another one I don't one, know no. too much about. Hit a $202,000 jackpot wow. at this casino. Wow. Okay. So uh, four wins are paying out over the last couple of weeks. Moving back over to Las Vegas, we're going to the Rampart Casino. Okay. I had to look up the Rampart I, Casino. I don't know anything about the Rampart. It's actually called the Rampart Casino at the Resort at Summerlin. Okay. All right. Uh, it's a elegant 50,000-square-foot casino 1,600 slot machines, two dozen table games, uh, 300-seat bingo room. Oh, okay. And they have a race and sports book. They, oh, okay. It, it's it's uh, their own branded sports book, by the way. Sounds like a nice casino. It's it's actually beautiful. Oh. Go to the website. It's actually a beautiful-looking place. They've got golf courses around it. Oh, okay. It's not downtown. It's in Summerlin. Yeah, I, I guess so. the suburbs kind yeah. of thing. Yeah. Okay. Well, we have a lucky Las Vegas local hitting a jackpot on the Dollar Storm machine. Never heard of the Dollar Storm machine either. Dollar Storm is made by Aristocrat. All right. And the casino can set up to be a progressive game or a non-progressive game. It could be just, you know, single hits. Uh, was voted top slot product at the 2020 Global Gaming Awards. Wow. Okay. What is this? Dollar Storm machine, the right? Dollar Storm machine. All right. Uh, the award-winning Dollar Storm yes. machine. Okay. Uh, the woman turned a... It's a woman. It was a, she withheld her name. Okay. Well, the woman turned a one dollar bet into one hundred sixty four thousand dollars. Wow. She hit the combo super grand progressive, uh, and she didn't even pose for a picture. <laughs> well, I, I guess if you're not going to give your name, usually you would not want your picture out there. But you know, I but I've seen pictures with people with the big check, but they didn't give their name. Okay, hold that thought. We're going to take a quick break. See you on the other side.
Haven't you heard? We don't need to hide anymore. Now, we can shop privately for adult products at adamandeve.com. They've got massage oils, lingerie, and lots more we can't mention here. Use offer code SPICE404. They'll give you 50% off almost any one item, three free DVDs, free mystery gift, and free shipping. That's 50% off, free shipping, and more. Private shopping starts at adamandeve.com. <laughs> You're listening to House of Cards. It's a casino. People got to win sometimes. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a giant, colorful chick to deposit. Being the House is brought to you by BetMGM Casino. Play your favorite casino games at BetMGM Online Casino. Slots, table games, live dealer games, everything you love about Atlantic City and Vegas, all online at BetMGM. Don't wait. Join in the fun now. Go to BetMGM Casino, create an account using our promo code TURNPIKE, and become a verified player. New players get $25 free when signing up, plus a first deposit bonus up to $1,000. That's promo code TURNPIKE at BetMGM.com for a 100% deposit match up to $1,000 plus $25 free. Grab a lion's share of the fun at BetMGM.com. Must be 21 years or older to place a bet. Terms and conditions apply. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Why don't you continue what you were saying before the break? This one, they didn't Depends get Depends on what you they, want to She do. didn't get in the picture. She didn't, she didn't give her name. So what they had to do in the press release, they showed a picture of the slot, the oh, winning well, slot. Okay. Now, I, I actually went to the website when I found out all this information about what the Rampart Casino is. They actually have a page of jackpot winners. Great, great. And uh, I was looking through it. The last time they had a jackpot this size was July 2nd of this year, and it was 164000 again. Wow. On the same machine, dollar storm. It, the same the, kind of the, machine. The same, the same, same Not the exact brand, same machine. The, sa- the, the same, same brand. brand of machine. Wow, dollar storm. Dollar storm. I got to check that one out if it pays that well. But uh, yeah, no, they they've had a couple, you know, ten thousand, twenty thousand dollar jackpots See, I, I, between then and there. During this segment, I write down all the names of the different slots, and I kind of look for them on online. You know, you're you're in New Jersey, you're, you have all the online casinos, and you have all the online slot machines, so you might as well look at the ones that are paying off. Going further west, we have the California Lottery. Oh, California! Well, someone just won Powerball out there. That's that, exactly what we're going to talk about. about that. Okay, all right. We have a winner. Who bought the ticket at an Albertson's grocery store in Morrow Bay, a coastal town in the San Luis Apizbo County, uh, roughly halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco? Uh, they bought the ticket at the Albertsons, and it is worth six hundred ninety-nine point eight million dollars. I would think by you know by the time this airs, I would they assume would, they they've would gone. have the name of the person well I, you know i'm not sure in california law i know i know in new jersey if you win the lottery you know you can't withhold your name they 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 you have to give your name out i wonder if in california you can remain anonymous like these slot winners i wonder if they can just say you know i want to remain anonymous well you know in some states they allow your attorney to go pick it up okay well that's good so i, I don't know exactly how california works to pick well, up the, of the way prizes. it works usually if someone wins a big lottery it's going to take about a week because number one they got to Get a lawyer or consult with the lawyer if they already you're, have. You're then assuming, get a financial planner. Because you're you're assuming you know, that's what these people, some of these people are doing. Some of these all, people just run and get. I the money. have all that ready. I'm just waiting for the big winning ticket that I have. That's so, the only like, missing that's, piece. That's huh? the only missing piece is the actual. <laughs> Everybody else is on ticket. call. You yeah, know. no, no. I, I know exactly what I'm going to do if I win something big. I just have to win something big. The 700 million dollar Powerball jackpot is the seventh largest lottery jackpot to date, and it's the fifth largest Powerball jackpot. Didn't Powerball or Mega Millions <laughs> get to I, one point something billion at I, one point? I don't have to break any records. I no, just, I would just love anything you want to give me. The outlet. This is the first time this has been reported because uh, I actually uh, was surprised to see this in the news report. The uh, store, the Albertsons Grocery Which Store, they get money. They get a percentage. One million dollars. Wow, that's great. That's because of the seven hundred million. Yeah, I don't know yeah. what the percentage worked out to be. Yeah, for I, that, I, did, but. I, I would guess it might be different in each state, but they get a percentage of the winning ticket yeah i think it's also different i wonder the, if it's a percentage of before or after taxes so i, 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 I also know. think it's a there's a difference between what type of place is selling it too whether it's a variety store mm-hmm. a supermarket or whatever else or a tobacco store 
wherever selling it. I think everyone's got some different tiers, too. Okay. Uh, jackpot was the uh, record streak dating back to June 5th of 40 consecutive draws without a grand prize winner. Wow. Uh, last but not least, we're going to hit it off with a Virginia lottery uh, jackpot. We've actually been doing a lot of Virginia lottery stories lately, a lot, of, a lot of money being won on the online side. Okay, this is the Virginia online lottery. Yes. Okay. Well, it's still run by the Virginia lottery, okay, but okay. the online games. Uh, Susan H. of Aldi. I didn't even know there was a town called Aldi. Uh, Aldi? Aldi? A-L-D-I-E. Okay. Uh, won the largest ever crown jewel jackpot. They're going to keep saying that because the crown jewel, ja- crown jewel jackpot just recently launched. Okay. So we're going to see that often. That's in a good promotion. Releases. Hey, yep. you know, have someone win it. It's a great promotion. She, Susan played the VIP Ultra game, which is one of the games that's linked to the crown jewel jackpot. It's a link progressive. All right. Uh, won $209,000. Wow. Great. Yeah, the uh, three games that you can play for this jackpot, Play VIP Ultra, RoboCash, and Savannah Adventures. So congratulations to all our winners this week. Uh, Looking forward to talking about some more winners next week. Uh, If you have any uh, news for this segment, uh, info at turnpikesportsradio.com is the uh, address to send the news reports to. Well, that'll do it for us this week. We'll see you next time on the radio with House of Cards. Yeah.